so hello there my name is eric today i will try to show you how to retopo this head it has been like three weeks since i did last tutorial video than than the last time i added it the year so today i will just try as fast as i can to add, to show you the trick that i do when i retopo uh, usually when I retopo, I usually put some music in the background and it's good music and then I just focus because it's it can be time consuming, it can be it can be demanding. So the retopo itself is just the process that's taking a mesh with so many vertex like this, turning to a mesh that is not really heavy and you have good good loop loop edge loop flow and face loop flow that it will help you to when animating it. You don't have some kind of like weird mesh pinching. That's at least what my own definition of retopo. Yeah. So let's not talk too much. Let's just get started. Usually I go, I usually start with adding a plan. Let's first rename this one. Let's call it. Uh, Actually, cannot rename it there anymore. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. Yeah, let's rename it. It's not as fair. Let's say head din topo. Yeah, we call it just head with din topo. And yeah, and now we can just shift. Shift S to bring the cursor to selected. The cursor is there. It's kind of like annoys me when it's kind of bent like this, but it's okay. You can live with it. Yeah, add a plan. Close this guy. Go with Z, toggle X ray, X ray, and then go to edit mode. Cut, confirm, delete this one. Add a mirror modifier just like that clip check the clip and then we have this guy said my panel is down here because this is an old this is an old uh, file from 2.79 did that where my file is here so usual most of you the file the, 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 this bar should be on top here this is the default blender 2.8 it should be here and if you want to change it you just do like i did here you just do like the toggle flip to bar and then you just do like that so let's put it here and then here is the stuff that we'll be using you first click the snap and then here you get to face and then you click on object project element when you remove it set so let's check it out when you click the the vertex click and hold you will move directly to the grab option and then by left or right click left click with left click you can confirm go side view and you'll see that mesh, those vertexes jump on top of this guy. Yeah. Let's go back to the solid and then do those two as well. Just after when we did this, you see that we cannot see our mesh anymore the way we want to see it. So we have to check some other options here. Come here. Mm -mm -mm. No, actually it's here. Just because those things has been changed. Is this guy? Yeah. Uh, 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 where are you? Where are you? If you pull display, click this front. You see, when you click it, immediately your mesh just pop on top of it. Contrary to 2.79, which was like you have to click a lot of like. Uh, a lot of button to get to do it now you just click like this the mesh the low res mesh will be just popping in front of your ladder so easy to handle 
and something that I usually do as well so that they just speed up my my workflow is I well this is well organized huh? I I will be checking this one release on confirm release conference yeah this is something that I do so I don't have to click I don't have to have to click so many times like now if I just do like this when I release it it will jump on top of it yeah so that's all about the setting oh, let's remove that that guy in the middle there I don't know about you but me it does annoy it it does annoy me and the origin as well okay I will remove the origin and the 3d cursor origin and, and 3d cursor and origin I just didn't like them okay and then if you want to go to full screen you do control tab full screen that's the full screen that we're having now it's, 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 it's yeah yeah and since we don't have the add-ons and you you still want to retopo your model this is the kind of like uh, the way i usually do it i usually have this edge face face low that will go through the whole bar the whole head like this around it from that then i will be doing some ramification some kind of like branches that's my way i don't know if i told you that already but i usually have some music oh i forgot to do the, the clipping yeah the clipping is done mm, something just didn't work out okay let's just pull it yeah i don't know if i told you but sometimes usually i should put some music and i i just start to do my thing for me contrary to what more many people said for me retopo is really relaxing it's it's uh, the process that i'm doing without a lot of thinking I don't think a lot when I'm doing it. It's kind of like relaxing. Yeah, it's it's relaxing. So from here you can just Matthias of course he he needs some it, it it demands some thinking when you're doing it. It requires some thinking shift D. I just did shift D there and then I'm snapping these faces here. And then the other side as well, these parts, the, 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 the visibility of the other side was implemented about what, two weeks ago. So Blender 2.8 is really work in, work in progress. And thanks to the developer who are working to help us to have a decent tool. Mm so this is the eye part mm. that shows it seems like i didn't read topo for a time for a while so this is the thing that i usually do like I do just a long one and then I will hold it down like this and then I have it just like that and pulling those guys F yeah that's just about the eyes mm -hmm. and then you want to select that one shift s to uh, shift what was that? shift tab yeah shift tab to deselect this this guy and then e exclude it exclude some and then shift tab to bring it back j to grab and then to confirm click right click to confirm you have all those 
sitting down for you and then yeah and then this is most of the time most of the thing we'll be doing it should be just like this we'll be just doing this i don't know let's see how fast i will go with this guy but usual head i can i can do a head in in what 30 minutes if i'm not if i'm not tired if i'm not if i'm really fully focused if i've been doing some head i mean i've been retopoing some head mm -hmm. english that's something that i'm that's the reason i'm doing those videos as well so that if some a native english guy is listening to it feel free to give me some feedback about my english because i'm not a native i'm i'm not a native english speaker so feel free to 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 say something to to write something to send me a message here or ev anywhere to i would be it would be really appreciated i would love that so most of the time this is what i said at the beginning because we don't have the add-ons because add-ons usually really like speed up the workflow you will have so many things you wouldn't have to do when you have the add-ons f12 is my favorite add-on f2 not f12 f2 is my favorite add-on and it's the one that really help helps me a lot does help me a lot when I'm when I'm reach a point. Really time saving. Okay. So these are those are the stuff that most of most of my click is just like like those here. I'm just clicking and dragging, and then when I release, I confirm it. Those are the, the action that I'm doing. And one more here. And then G, confirm. It will just jump on it. Again, there is another loop here. So we're having the middle line again. We keep working on it. So font view. And then yeah, just like that. A couple of few loops here. And then G to grab left right click, left click to confirm. And then we all set. As you go side view, you see they just like snapping in the right places to here g they snap they just snapping you keep snapping them and then another one here g, f f here so here usually i have two i did that g and then double time two times g and then i slide it this is a slide mode and here another one snap here I usually have one loop that goes like this and this guy those guys that will be matching this guy here g to grab f f mm. Okay, and then G to grab, oops, F, and then F. So this one is coming to die here. This one, they will die to the nose. And then this guy, not this guy, 
will come. Can you see those flickering? It's kind of like flickering when I'm moving. It's kind of like jiggering. And then this one will come and die here in the mouth. So, and we have this guy that will go that way. And then those guys, oops. Shift tab to to uh, deselect this this uh, snap during transformation, and then E, we just pull them up, and then like that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Why it's not holding it? Mm, I don't know. I clicked it. Ah, oh, now it is. Okay. It was not before. So, we keep just like um, moving those so that they will have a very easy to follow that they don't bite me in the long run don't bite me in the long run yeah so that's one and then another one we have that bone covered this one can come a little bit here move it yeah and more of that yeah, we close this one with f that one with f as well so this is something as well that i'm not all the time telling, saying about my key my key the key that i'm pressing I'm more like a, a shortcut guy. I, I I like a shortcut. I don't I don't I don't like it. I don't like to go all the time like press some some button. Yeah. I don't. I'm I'm not really a button a button guy. If you wanna hide something from me, just put it on the UI. It will be difficult for me to find it. When I find it, I will, if it's important, I will try to learn it. Yeah. So, let's see. Mm. Yeah, we're good. we good. we good. No panic. Let's see about this. Not so bad. Should we close this one here and then bring this one here? Yeah, this is when I do like this. It's a Shift M, and then I'm snapping, snapping it to the snap, merge them to the last. It will be merging there, and then I can push this one like this. So this so this loop will be going back there. Yeah. I'm still having the 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 how do you call it F2 feeling because with F2 I will be just pressing F F when I'm missing F2 that's what I mean it's a very good tool to retopo but since the blender to point here is still in the making of so many tools are not there yeah as you can see slowly but steady we're going there steady we're going there be baby we go we get there the big the big challenge is always to have those face loop the loop from the face workout and since we have already these ones 
this one is easy to close let's focus our energy to some more complex stuff let's select those one one and then move it like this snap it here make sure that this one is stuck there and then control r four times for each loop four cuts and then g confirm if you go side view they are there for you this is kind of like the easy and fast way to do retopo without the without the um, how do you call them without the add-ons you see this is how i'm going i usually go with them like this I usually go like this i will be putting those big faces like this and then add more vertex or add more geometry if needed if it's not needed then i don't add again simple as that simple as that yeah if they don't if there is no need then don't add this is one of the things that i like as well you can just control click did i say even i'm doing control click from the beginning i'm controlling click to 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 to, to to extrude them to extrude this this agent control control click control click i don't know if i said it at the beginning oh that'd be awful that i went this far didn't even see what, what click i was doing control r r this one g snap it f f like here now i can see that i'm having these two vertex here but here i'm just having one here so i will slide it here and then control cut there there's so many things that has been improved here in blender 2.7 from blender 2.79 in blender 2.8 many many tools even the slide this before you didn't have those two arrow lines but now you have them kind of like more visual visual friendly to tell you what are you doing and where are you going with this so and then you can see that's just about it i don't like this one this one should die over there Okay, let's remove this X. So this one should die over here. So mm -hmm. let's delete that guy as well. This one should come here. great so this yeah to have kind of like a good work uh, edge flow it's it's kind of like good to go that way because the mouth will be opening and then you'll be having if you're thinking about animation you'll be <coughs> you'll be having some 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 bones around here or yeah because the pivot can be here so you can open your mouth and stuff like that your character mouth stuff like that it's better to have it there as you can see as well when i'm doing control click i'm making making sure that they go close to the the, the this kind of like guideline the, those lines those of age face loop that i'm making first i'm kind of like making them knowing where the bones are and following Control L cuts there. I don't know even how oh, many minutes I went already. Uh -huh. Let's see. No fire anymore. I think I will not do the ear. No, let's see. Let's see how many minutes I'll check. When I quite finish here, I'll check if I still have time, some time to do the ear. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
that's when it's great and then we close that guy like that and then we close this one as well and we pull this one a little bit so we give some space for this guy to link link them i will see and then link this guy as well Okay, like this one, we link, and again, I'm adding more, as I said, because I feel like I will need one here, because it's just getting too big, so this is something as well, for you, you want, when you read topo, you want your faces to have approximately about the same size about the same size that will be good when we'll be going with how do you call that guy multi res when you be multi res adding more de detail with multi res you will be it you would really need it that it has more 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 detail on that it has about the same size those 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 faces mm. Yeah, I think I'll pull this one here and then bring those guys up a little bit. Yeah, and again. Yep, that more or less what we are after, what we are aiming for. Mm. I can see how my head it's so F12, F2. Yeah, my head is so F2. I'm th doing it and thinking already beforehand how I can do stuff that's F2. It'll be easy to do it with F2. F2 add on. Yep now the face is almost done let's get this guy continue because this is those are the line that i call the guide line the guide edge face loop yeah the guide face loop this is one of them that i will go with it since it will be guiding me in the long run gx2 know where uh, where to put my secondary second secondary edge loop face loop now we're going to the top control click here as you can see it's just like that you go top make sure that this one is not they are all well separated they are not glued together. Control R. Put a little bit like what? Let's say six. And then G. Side view. You see how you snap it's really friendly. Really easy. You just snap there. And then you do the same thing with this guy. Come here. Control R, G, and then select those two, and then select those two. Control 7, no, Control 1, we are in the back view. Even this seems like you're front, you're not the front because the ears, different size, side. And then F, if you look at it, you see just a straight line like that. Control 1. And then you do control R, put let's say five, and then J confirm. Just like pretty good sitting there waiting for you. Those are the guide, the guideline that I usually put when I'm working 
when I'm Rito point add. This is the main edge face loop that I will go with it. Even, even, even if this guy had a body, I will go with the same principle that this edge loop face loop will go all over the body, like all over the middle parts and part of the body. Yeah. So let's let's add this is a bone that is coming here this bone just to let's make it make it appear so we're taking this edge loop we're taking those two faces and then we're creating we're creating a face loop there from that guy It's control click. And then F. You can see we're having that one going over there. And then some more. This one can stop there. And those as well. We can bring them as close as we want, as close to the ear as we want. So, is this more about it? Let's give those faces a little bit some space add one more here j confirm f nail one and then we get let's get these ones we bring them up and we do the same thing confirm and we have this one that we can have it like that Yeah, I'll just keep adding those faces, filling up, filling up those, those loops. That will add three. Yeah. Gene confirm. And then we go. Yeah, like that. Arrange them. One loop is missing here. G confirm. F F F F. We're just filling them up. Okay. And from here, this guy can come a little bit here. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, we have so many small faces. And then here, this big one. So quickly, just let me rearrange them. They are not really appropriate. Open them a little bit. Mm. Okay.
That was a long moment of silence. Yeah. That was a long moment of silence. Just trying to focus on this. Yeah, and another thing I do as well when I finish doing this work of moving, I can go to sculpt mode and smooth them. And that's before doing any putting any modifier, putting any yeah modifier, I just go there and then try to bring up some form, some shapes, some shape to bring some shape back. Mm. This one, let's get it here. That's something as well. You have to do it with the view. You have to do it with the view, otherwise it will bend. Oops. Yeah. And then when you cut, the top view, it should be more, it will align much better. And there's something that I've been hating this control snap option. That I just learned to live with. It's it's this. See, when I'm having these guys like this, when I control click them, this edge here is moving, but it seems like it's not moving much anymore, like in 2.79. You see, it's kind of like bending to adjust. Sometimes I just don't like it to bend like this. You see, it's a bending to adjust. Sometimes I don't like it to bend, and sometimes it jump really bad, and then it makes you redo the work again but here it seems like it has been tuned down somehow it's not really like annoying it's not pretty annoying like it was in 2.79 or maybe i'm just <coughs> my head somehow has learned how to avoid those kind of situ circumstances <coughs> those situations what i have to what i have to to Yeah, what I have to 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 do, or what I have to have that situation. So my head is kind of like has been my brain has been already proactive to not having those situation again in the long run. Yeah, it seems like my throat is starting to get dry. I believe I will do the ear later on. As you can see, I'm just doing it like this. Maybe another session doing the ear, it should be good. So I can get myself some drink, but I finished this one first. I will do the ear and the back of the hand there. I finished the nose as well now, because those are those are not really difficult anymore, the things that remain. The very difficult part is always the head here, to have those loop, those face loop align well. This is one of the big, challenge one of the big challenge kind of to have them like like this <coughs> one of them already this is more like just closing the gaps there is actually a tool that you can select like this and then fill it where is that tool even it was here in the face fill 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 yeah this is it this one ah oh, too ugly hmm wait a minute and then it feel grid. Yeah, something like this. But it's just too ugly for me. I don't, uh, it looks ugly. And then there is this property here that you can tweak it to make it look more friendly. But I don't like it. You just do Ctrl Z. And try, 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 try to do it by hand yeah that's something i do as well so much short path big short path this i do that a lot i do click first select click first and then control select click the nearest the next i will select all this path <coughs> where is it so we do this one yeah, 
we have those here that will be two over there okay and then we fill those as you can see we have been filling it just like that and then mm, 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 mm. It seems like we need to open this guy to add more more guys here mm. that's something i was doing before but i didn't know that it doesn't work that way you have to do them one by one like this mm -hmm. now we're having three that we have nothing okay this is more or less what what is about now we're having three here something i usually pay attention it's good to have enough uh, enough vertex that is, are landing on the ear because the ear <coughs> return retropoing the ear oh this i don't like it that's this one is popping a lot like this let's try to hide it yeah you just hide it from there so you don't have it anymore yeah so this is the this part of the head the ear sometimes it's it needs a lot of vertexes so you really want to have enough to match to match the ear let's let me do this and then we will come later i will finish this and then come later with the ear and then we will be i'll be talking about it let me do it first because talking like this is more it will sound like uh not really clear but let's try to close and have the the ear opening Hmm, that's kind of good name for it the ear opening and then i'm having this guy oops control z control z yeah this guy that guy is going over there actually this guy is supposed to be the ear hmm, that's some kind of mistake i did and then yeah and then it's okay we can just make it happen otherwise like this mm. if yeah i think more or less have it yeah we got it. Oops, control Z. I didn't want it that way. I want it in this direction. Hmm. Okay. Let's add one more here. Yeah. So more here. just have to close these guys down here mm. 
okay this is the opening of the ear the ear the ear opening the amount of vertexes that are here there should be 21 it's it may be quite not really not enough let's see not bad let's see but let's see how we, we we deal with it but sometimes you will really need a lot of vertexes around here to have a very good a very good <coughs> distribution in the ear so let's see let's see how we deal with it sometimes i usually start with the ear and then i start to i start with this ear here start with the ear and then I start to dis di distribute those face loop accordingly, what I'm having around the ear. Sometimes I do it like this as well. But we'll do the ear as well, just for you to, to see it. As I said, this is one of the, the process that I do. For me, it's not really, it's not stressful, it's relaxing. Sometimes I have to think a little bit, where should I put this guy and why should I put that guy and why should I put this vertex and so on. But most of the time, it's not really <coughs> demanding. It's not quite demanding. It's not. That's my throat crying for water. I don't want to stand up here. I just want to finish this and then go and drink. Next time I will have my glass of water close by. So when I'm having Yeah, we have it and then we close this guy. Let's close you. So what will you say if I say this? I push you here and then those F. Let's see how much we have here. We count them here. How many vertex? Six. We need six here as well. So we have one there. We can put three here. It'll be four. Let's put a four here. That would be five and one and one here. That'll be six. Now, this is where I believe that that field grid will work. No, it's even work. Let's see. Does this thing work? Ha. Huh. No way. Let's see. Fill. No way. Why well, this thing doesn't work? It will be easy if you just like fill this guy. Because this is really the easy fill you can get. Yeah, that's okay. You can just do it like this. Oh, we didn't have enough. So I have to push those a little bit on this side to give some room from for the others. And then we have having and this one is like this. Mm. Seems like I didn't shift tab them. Okay, then again. And then G. Yeah, they are there. So I missed it. Now I just do V to and then to separate them and then G twice. G G. Yeah, twice and then slide it. Come here. Fix that guy. And then F F F F to fill it up. So we, let's see, we having, without the nose, let's do the nose now. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. Let's do the nose. 
Windows 10 OS is just there. Cutting here, I'm just snapping it, snapping it, control and last, control and last again, just snapping it there, all time last. Okay, this guy probably we don't need it, delete it, edge loop, and And then snap this guy as well, last. So, we are having that. Let's see how many faces we have here. 10. Pretty good. Pretty good. Some of those guys can come here. Some of them can die there. Like, let's see. <coughs> this guy. F. F and then this guy. I'm sorry. I'm starting to get bored. I'm trying to animate myself. Did I say bored? Yeah, because I don't tell the music. I don't want to put the music because <coughs> apparently YouTube will blame it, will complain like. Oh, the proprietor of the song will want you to say something and make some advertisement. You know, those YouTube those YouTube messages like, Oh, no, I didn't mean that. The muse was just in the background. No, you made already a mistake. You suck. And they're like, Oh, please don't do that to me, YouTube. That's really late already. You have to pay for cheating people's music okay this is something i do a lot as well <clears throat> you see when i have a triangle like this i have this triangle i will select this face this edge loop and then with the v key separate it g double time slide it i'm having this opening this one is open as well this one is open as well so this one let's just put it like this snap it there so we're having this. When it's open like this, you're having a very easy way to fill up that without having triangle. This is just my 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 how can I say my my maniac side that I just don't like to do to have triangle. You can get by with triangle if you just put them in a very good places. You can you can live with triangle, but me the maniac inside of me just doesn't allow me to see triangle. So I have developed these ways of avoiding triangle of any cost. I just try to not have a triangle, even though I know that you can you can have you can you can live with it without. We can, it's not a big big deal to have triangle in your models. But this is just my own thing, my own phobia, triangle phobia. I say, ah, oh, triangle, I feel like someone is attacking me. Triangle attacking me. No, that's, yeah, we are almost there. We are almost there. We are almost there, are we? I hope. Yes, of course, we are almost there. Not much of thinking here anymore. As you can see. Yeah, this one comes here and then I'm having this one. I will just cut it here. Cut another one here. FF. FF. 
Okay, now we almost have it. Let's finish the mouth area. The mouth area. And R. R. And then we have those guys, and then those guys here as well. G is is really the easy way to do this without that I found. The easy way I found to do, do this without uh, without the modifier and add-ons. Yes, of course we will. It will be really good if we have. <clears throat> some kind of retopo building in blender sadly we don't have it so we have just to do some end job we have to do it manually yeah it takes times like everybody knows when you do it manually it takes some times but good music and know how to make it entertaining and enjoy the process hmm yeah yep yeah we got our one closed and then let's have this one as well close how many? Seems like we have only two. Oops. Hmm. So that's another one. That's another one. And we're having this last one. Do we have two over there? Oh no way! No way! We have two. Mm, just to give some space for the other guys you have to give some space isn't it when you have new people coming in you have to learn how to give space otherwise you will be considered as uh, not really a open-minded person because new people when they come they usually have some some good idea sometimes so you have to give some space mm. Mm. this is my brain getting a bit tired now okay I put it like this like that then here as well returning Turning. Yeah, here as well, we have to give some space for the new ones are coming. Otherwise, <coughs> we'll end up in a problem. Give some space. And then F. So how many we have here? Down here we have two only. And then up here we have three. Yeah, this one as well, you can just fix them a little bit because this, this is just too much of space. Okay. Now we have this one, we have that one, that one closed. This one is closed as well, the E, the I. Okay, I think now I can get, go and get my water. Now I can go and get my water.
and that's how we close this retroposition. We will come later, shorter and faster one to do the, the, the ear and the eyes. The eyes are usually leave it to the last one <coughs> when I'll be adding that eyeball and it will be in some back and forth and I usually leave it real in the last one. Sometimes I modify it even with with, with uh, multi res before multi res I modify this sometimes. So that's actually this this part here is no really good and that one over there that I'll be fixing as well next time next on the next se session for now I say goodbye and if you like it subscribe do the YouTube thing comment and say something if you don't like it do the same YouTube thing as well complain and do, do 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 make some advertisements just for fun yeah that's that's more about it see you next time when i'll be adding the year goodbye